When we told a friend of ours who has been to France a few times that we were going to be driving from Barcelona to Bordeaux, he was very quick to recommend that we stop in Carcassonne if we had the chance. He had been there twice before, and Carcassonne was, in his words, magical. And believe me, for this friend to use that kind of glowing praise, well, it was enough to convince us to take a look and eventually add it to our itinerary. And you know what? He was kind of right. We stayed right outside the old walled city at, and excuse me, since I don't speak French, I'm probably going to butcher some of the names of these places, at Hotel du Pont Vieux. It was a simple hotel, but very clean and comfortable. And just look at the view from our window. And since we told them that we were there for our anniversary, they gave us the room on the top floor that had access to the balcony with an amazing view of the Citadel, especially at night. Now after we settled in, we went to explore the old walled city. It has 52 towers, and the walls that surround it go for 1.9 miles. It's actually the largest walled city in Europe that has its original defensive walls still intact. We ate dinner at a place that that same friend recommended to us, L'Hostal de Trabador. There we ate the local specialty cassoulet, which is a rich, slow-cooked casserole of meat, pork skin, and white beans, while being entertained by a duo of flamenco guitar players. But our time in Carcassonne was very short. The very next morning, we were on the road at 7 a.m. on our way to Saint-Amillon in the famous Bordeaux region of France. We had a 10.30 appointment at Chateau Saint-Georges, a beautiful vineyard. Now we happened to be there the day before they were going to begin harvesting the grapes. So we were so appreciative that the owner, George, took the time to show us around, answered our questions, and even gave us a complimentary bottle of wine at the end of the tour. Afterwards, we headed towards Saint-Millon to find some lunch. Now, we weren't really expecting a whole lot from this little village, but we ended up absolutely loving it. We walked up and down the crazy steep cobblestone streets, sampled macarons, caneles, and ate duck confit. We also scaled the 196 steps to the top of the town's bell tower and took in the best view of the entire region. However, we weren't done yet. Honestly, maybe our favorite thing about the Bordeaux region was the place we stayed that night in the neighboring village. The place was called La Tour de Henri IV, or Henry IV's Tower, which sits on the grounds of another vineyard. Now, it's called Henry IV's Tower because the good king of France, as he was called, would stay in the very room we slept in when he was in the area. Our stay in this castle, which, by the way, even had a moat, included a tour of their winery and an amazing breakfast delivered to our door the next morning that included some homemade jams that were out of this world. We were also allowed to roam the grounds of the vineyard as we pleased, which we took advantage of the next morning all alone on the French countryside. Later that morning, we were on the road again, heading back to Spain. We did make one more quick stop at the beachside city of saint jean de luz for a quick cup of coffee before we ended our time in France. 